Colin. Good luck. Good luck, Colin. Good luck, guys. A little pot. We got a something brewing. Uh, you got something? I got a little something something. In this vlog, we are at Texas Card House in Dallas, Texas. And as part of our RV challenge that we are doing with my buddies, John and Rob, we have to play several 1-3 sessions as we're going across the country. And actually the loser of, by the time we get to Vegas, whoever is down the most or up the least is gonna have to get fake nails. So this is part of that challenge that we got going on. So we are playing 1-3. We sit with uh, 300 bucks, which I believe is the max here. And we're gonna get this session going. Alrighty, the first hand that we have here is Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Clubs. There is an early position limp. We raise it up to 15 bucks. We get a call behind and the limper calls. The flop comes Ace, Deuce, Three, Rainbow. And the limper checks. And pretty dry board here. I decided to check and I get a, a little tricky. And the late position player behind us also checks. Then the turn comes a jack. The early position limper decides to bet 16 here. And I'm continuing with this weak story. So I just decide to call. Late position player decides to call as well. And at this point, I think that there could be some weaker ace-x out there. I think there can be some king-queen, queen-10, some jack-x type of hands. So we go to the river. It is a 7. And the player who bet out checks. And then it gets on me, and I definitely think that I should be betting here, but for some reason, I checked, kind of hoping the player behind had like king, queen, queen, 10, and that they were going to bluff at this, and they didn't, and I end up winning a pot here, and uh, early on, we uh, move up to about 345 in our stack. The next hand, we look down at queen, nine of diamonds. We call an early position open to 17 bucks. And then a friend of the stream, DFS Brat, calls in the big blind as well. So we go three ways to the flop. And the flop comes at 9-6-3 with two spades. There are two checks, DFS checks, the early position opener checks. And then I decide to make it 30 bucks here on the flop with our top pair. Lots of draws out there. High cards are going to call. I think this is a pretty easy bet. So our hand does need a little bit of protection. And then a DFS Brat in the big blind actually decides to go all in for $103 total. The early position player folds and then it's on me. I'm not folding here. I comment and say, oh, we got a pot here <laughs> for the vlog. So obviously I am going to make the call. I make the call and then uh, DFS Brat actually flips over Ace-10 offsuit here. Just has absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then just, uh, yeah, he says he didn't think I had a pair and just tried to bluff or get on the vlog. I'm not sure. Anyway, the run out goes Jack Ace, as you can see, and we end up losing. So we're down to 311 bucks after this pot. We look down at Ace Six of Hearts and we open to 10 bucks in the middle position. We get two calls and then a DFS in the cutoff makes it 40 bucks. I call and the one player behind calls as well. So we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes 10 jack three with two diamonds. I have completely missed this flop, so I'm not gonna be doing much here. So it checks around on the flop. The turn comes a 10 and we all decide to check again. So three checks and I really just don't have much here. So we're basically giving up. The river is a four and it checks to me 
And I just decided here that if I had a 10, I would be tricky like this, or tricky like this. And I wanted to represent a 10, so I decided to bet a uh, bigger bet on the river. I bet uh, 75 bucks. And we do end up getting called and we lose, which is actually fine for our image. But uh, yeah, after losing a couple pots there, we're at uh, 186 bucks and we do need to reload. The next hand, we look down at Jack 10 offsuit. We are in the big blind. There is an early position limp, a button limp. Small blind makes it 15. And I decided to call here. It's a little bit of a loose call, but I was definitely in a splashy mode here. I mean, Texas, the place to be splashy, right? I call both behind call and we go to a flop of queen seven deuce rainbow. The small blind checks and I with uh, my hand here, I decided to get a little cheeky and bet 10. I thought the late position players were a bit weaker and betting really small here and just getting calls, I think, allows me to bluff a bunch of turns. Again, all of that said, I'm being a bit splashy here. Early position player calls the button in the small blind call and then the turn is a nine and I picked up kind of one of the better cards for me on the turn here. And I'm representing strength at this point. So I pick up an open-ended, I decide to bet out 45 bucks, especially when everybody just calls 10. I think a lot of the time they're just gonna be super weak. Also, admittedly, I was trying to put myself into a spot here where I could either double up or reload. Uh, <laughs> but we bet 45 on the turn, everyone folds and we are stacking some chips. Here we look down at five, seven of diamonds. There are two earlier position calls of the straddle. Uh, middle position opens to 25. I'm in the cutoff. I think I'm gonna have position for the majority of this hand. So I decided to call the 25 bucks. Uh, another friend of the stream, Brock LeBrock calls as well. And then the flop comes ace, six, eight, two spades. A player in early position who called the middle position 45 decides to bet out here there is a fold i call and then there's another fold behind so we go heads up to the turn here the turn is the turn it is a four so it gives us a straight but the flush does come in so there's three spades on the board i have a straight they check to me and I do not have too much behind. I got about uh, 150, 160 behind here. And I think it is about the size of the pot. But I decided that I wasn't going to bet small here and just give incredible odds for single spade type of hands to call. If they have ace X, they're just not going to be folding either. And yeah, we jam it all in here. We do not get called, but now we did not have to reload and we were back up over our starting stack of uh, 300 bucks sitting on about 335 after this hand. So as is a Texas tradition here, we have a bomb pop for you. We have 10 seven off here in the hand and there are five people who got into the bomb pot for 10 bucks. So we go to a flop, double board flop. So the first flop we have a jack eight seven jack eight of diamonds on the top and then on the bottom we have jack ace ace so with our 10 seven here we have a pair and a gut shot up on top and on the bottom we have nothing nothing at all the flop goes all the way check around between the five players and then the turn is a five up top so jack eight seven five and then the bottom is a nine so now we have a pair and a gut shot up top and on the bottom we have a gut shot as well and again i'm playing a bit splashy here uh admittedly i decided to bet out 40 here since there was no interest on the flop uh friend of the stream dfs calls and then there is one other call we end up going to the river here and the river is a five up top and a queen down bottom. So we have 10, seven, we basically have nothing here and I need to bluff if I wanna win. So I guess thinking about my hand, I have a 10. So block the straight up top and down bottom, we kind of block the king 10 straight, but we really just don't have much. I looked around at the table and the player in late position had about 200 ish behind 
and I was like, okay, I don't think that they have much. I think I would have heard more at this point. And uh, I kind of miscalculated here, but I bet to just put a lot of pressure on them. I bet uh, 150 bucks on the river, and then they go all in. And literally, man, I was like, geez, this is terrible. I have to put this in the vlog because these are just like tragic hands that maybe some people wouldn't put in their vlogs. But this is terrible. I literally have nothing. I'm just bluffing. And I didn't, I thought they had more than than what they had like i wanted to bet like half their stack and fold but instead i ended up betting like 80 percent of their stack and then when they go all in and i actually realize how much they had i was like this is just actually the worst and i fold and everyone's like ah and i'm like i know <laughs> but anyway we're down to 110 bucks after this absolute blast off but couldn't uh, keep it from you guys welcome to texas all right after that tragic hand we have to add on and we put another 200 bucks on and we continue forward we got another bomb pot here there are six or seven to the flop for 10 bucks a piece and i have queen six off the top board ends up coming queen five four with two clubs and the bottom flop comes ace deuce four with three diamonds so we have top pair on the top board and we have absolutely nothing on the uh bottom board we actually do have a diamond draw the queen of diamonds on the bottom board so uh haha, i was just kidding so we're okay here top pair uh second nut flush on draw on the bottom and on the flop here we end up betting 40 bucks we get two callers on the flop and then the turn comes a blank on the top and bottom and with about uh 200 ish or so in my stack i decide to just go all in gamble gamble top pair and then of course the second nut flush draw again like i said and it actually turns out to be 375 that we are all in here for so we're really pushing the issue, trying to win a big pot. And again, now one side note, as far as some of the action you're seeing in this video, we are on our third stop in our RV poker challenge. So we have a side bet going at this point where with two of my friends, where the loser has to get fake nails and wear them for a week in Vegas. So I am behind at this point. So it does kind of influence, I think, some of the plays that you might be seeing in my my uh, <laughs> my Dallas vlog here. But we're playing a really big pot and a double board, trying to get some folds, especially since there was no raise on the flop. We do end up getting one call in late position when we jam this turn. So we got a big pot here, as you can see, stacks of reds, bunch of green going in, like a 900 some dollar pot. And uh, the uh, eight of diamonds on the river on the top board and the four spades on the bottom board. We end up taking the top board and chopping this pot. We win the top with just the pair of queens. The uh, player who's all in had ace queen or ace king of clubs missed their flush draw. And a another player here had a pair of fives and a flush draw themselves. So they lose. And the ace king takes the bottom board. I take the top board. So we're going to chop up this pot. And we are going to end up having 450 in our stack at the conclusion of this hand. But man, these bomb pots in Texas are crazy, man. I'm telling you, you got to have uh, some ice in your veins for this. So there is a limp from a newer player in early position. I have queen of the diamonds here. I decide to raise. They are short stacking. I make it 15 bucks. And then they re-raise to 35 bucks which was uh, very weird, but it was kind of small. I was in position and I wasn't super committed at this point. But anyway, I decided to toss in the extra 20 with the queen eight of diamonds. So we're heads up to the flop. The short stack jams into me on the flop. I had to call uh, 65 bucks. He wants to run it twice here. I have a diamond draw on the flop. I hit a queen. And on the bottom, we brick out. And I actually lose both of them. <laughs> so that is bomb pot. So we double up the shorty. And uh, now we add on another 100 bucks, which is not good for our challenge. But uh, it is what it is. We got to do battle. 
All right, so it was a long night here at TCH Dallas, and we ended up booking a loss on our cross-country RV trip here. Texas destroyed us. We were down like 1.7K at this stop between the live stream and the uh, one-two session that we had here. Uh, we were actually down 8.38 for the session that we just went through with you. There were some other random hands in there that I actually missed a video. There was nothing really big. I showed you the huge blunders that we had and the big uh, bomb pots and stuff that we lost. There was really no like huge big wins for us here. No aces, no kings, nothing like that. So this really put us in the hole for the uh, RV poker challenge that we had going. But honestly, I really enjoyed uh, Texas Card House's room. It was awesome getting to meet up with a bunch of people who watched the stream, say hello, and just play games with them. You know, they've been supporters for a really, really long time. Shout out to Texas Card House for organizing uh, the live stream, which we will be putting out a vlog and talking about some of the hands that we had in that in a future vlog. So. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment, and stay tuned for when that video comes out. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning. Cheers. Hey everybody, thanks for making it to the end of my video. No one does that, do they? All right, look, I respond to comments, so please leave a comment below the description and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, check out some of my last videos here, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button here. All right, my name is Drew. Peace out. Catch up with you later.